Hi there, everybody. This one's going to be super quick. So I'm going to show you just real fast how to uh, back up your keybinds, your mods, like your mod list and all that for 9.4, uh, because in 9.4, there has been some patches and hot fixes. And this video will also be relevant if uh, Brock ever releases another gamma update or patch that's small, but not like a huge thing. Uh, so like, for example, there was some crashing going on in Corden. I'm sure some of you had that issue and you guys needed to patch your stuff or hot fix your stuff, but you don't want to lose your, your mod list that you just set up that you, you painstakingly took time out of your day to set up and your key binds and all that stuff. So I'm going to show you how to back it all up right now. Open the gamma launcher. That'll bring us here. We're going to hit play just to bring up the mod organizer too. And now we're going to type in MCM into the filter thing here. And now you're gonna see one called rename to keep your personal changes, okay? You're gonna find this and you're going to rename it. I've already done it. Uh, so we're gonna pretend that this is gone. We're gonna delete it. So you'll rename it. I named mine to drifters 9.4 values, okay? That's all we have to do for this. Uh, and then we go to tools, we'll go to profiles. Now you'll be on gamma, right? So this is probably the one that you've been adjusting the entire time. So what you'll do after you rename this and whatever is you'll copy and then rename it so that's gamma drift 9.4 for me and that's how you'll get that and you'll just hit select and then that'll save my values and whatever i click this i have 558 mods so after we patch it's going to be a different number but this will fix okay so we can close this we're done here with that we can leave this up for now we're going to need this you're going to want to come to the root of your anomaly drive go into app data you're going to take the user ltx this thing copy this to your desktop or just drag it out and then once you've done that, you're going to come over to the Gamma Launcher, untick force, get download and untick force zip extraction and hit install and update. And this is going to reset all of your key binds. This is going to reset your mod list. This is going to reset everything and then implement the patches or updates that might've been included. And now I'll say up to date here and up to date here. And as you can see, we have a new user LTX file. Fuck that thing. Put yours back in. Replace the file in there. Now that this is done, we can come back to here. Hit play. That's going to open up Mod Organizer 2. You're going to see that since we're on my mod profile still, if we come over here, it'll be 549 or 548 or whatever. I think this is the, this is the default number, 549. So this is the updated default gamma mod list. So you'll come over to Gamma Drift or whatever you named it. And then there we go, 558. There's all the mods that I have installed and put in and all that. And then if we go to MCN, you'll notice there's two MCN mods here. So if this is disabled yours that you made, you'll enable yours and then disable this one. And then that'll save your settings, your key binds, your mod list. You will have the updated patch and everything. And every, it'll, it'll work flawlessly if you do it correctly and do it step by step hope this video helped you guys have fun patching your games and getting back into the zone and enjoy less crashes love you have a good one subscribe follow whatever